Hello everybody, my name is Earl Chris, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Anniversary Edition, where in the last video, we completed the quest Unfathomable Depths, which is basically we took some lexicon to Evangenzel, because an Argonian at the Rift in Docks asked me to, and that sums it all up for the most part. Um, in this episode, I think we're finally going to bite the bullet and join the Dawn Guard, which has been the long-awaited next you know, a real chapter in the series, some would say. So I am pretty excited for that. We're level 31. It's about time we do the Dawn Guard, right? We can do main quests after. Okay, where am I? Why is it? Oh, it's like dripping from the sky. What? I don't, I don't know. I think we've already been through here, haven't we? Yes, definitely have. Okay, so the way out is this way. And as always... Oh, first I gotta say, it was the channel's birthday yesterday. Well, the, yesterday as of me recording this. Two days ago as of this video going up. And just thanks to everybody who has supported, watched any of my videos in any way. It's, it means a lot to me, if I'm being totally honest. 830 subscribers in a year is so much more than I ever expected. I mean, my goal was like... A hundred. Maybe, maybe 500 for the year. But you guys just blew that straight out of the water. And for that, I am very, very grateful. And as always, before we get too far into this, if you enjoy the series, me, the channel, um, Skyrim, make sure, leave a like and subscribe. The new goal, new next goal is a thousand subscribers. And if, I mean, if we hit a, th a thousand subscribers substantially soon, I mean... What what's the goal for 2023 like 5000 that would be insane. All right, I'm going to just try to ignore these wolves as much as possible. Um as I keep warning, my PC's been acting a little weird if you see a stutter, glitch, um the cursor will pop up on screen, it will stutter for a second, the game will come back, it'll still be recording for you, but for me on OBS it will be frozen. Um, just, I'll be, you know, like, hey, I'll be right back, and I'll be right back, and all of a sudden it'll be fixed. Um, down here we have some mage fighting some wolves, it looks like. Hello, woman, ma'am. I, I don't know why I'm assuming. Ar Ardwin, who is Ardwin? What? Okay, let's kill this wolf over here. Good job, donkey and dog. Okay, there we go. Who is Ardwin? I've never had this happen before, I don't think. Hello, who are you? Make it quick. Hello. We are traveling to the shrine of Kinnereth in Whiterun. I hear the Gilda Green is more beautiful oh. than ever since it's been restored. They say that eating the fruit it bears will add years to your life. Oh, come on, you're a high elf. Do you really need that? But, anyways have fun with that I guess um hey donkey I know it's right over here so you'll just wait um after I get my new CPU installed my computer which should be the end of this month I do want to start streaming again and I'm thinking of streaming you know the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt next gen update because it looks awesome and I love the Witcher 3 it's probably my favorite game ever in a long long time if I'm being honest I know I love Skyrim Skyrim's deep and close to my heart but the Witcher 3 is just some sort of magical that's really impossible to explain except for the people that have played it understand that was a weird jumble of words that didn't make much sense but if you've played the Witcher 3 through and through you probably get it oh, hey there. oh you, you, you shouldn't scare people like that truth is uh, I'm a little nervous I've never done anything like this before I hope you don't mind if I walk up with you. Nah, I don't really yeah, care, man. Tell Isran I was afraid to meet him by myself. Not the best first impression for a new vampire hunter, I guess. Yeah. Oh no, I'm too scared to meet the leader, but it's okay. I'm gonna fight vampires. Not a good look for you, Agmar. That's what your name is, right? Agmar, Agmir, Ag, Agmir. I don't know. Whatever. You have a weird name. Okay, I'm gonna sprint to. Ooh. Probably killed lots of vampires, huh? I'm sure Isran will sign you right up. I'm not sure he'll take me. I hope so. I'm pretty sure they need all they can get, if I'm being honest. Not to be detrimental to you. Fort Dawnguard. Wow. Bigger than I expected. 
Oh, and something else that I want to plug before we get too far into this video is I do have a, you know, Yarl Chris Twitter. I've started to do some more stuff in my life, so I'm thinking about posting on there for you guys to see. Um, it will range from anything from me working on my homemade D&D campaign, just my video recordings, me, I don't, I don't know, just my life, and updates on there. So, I mean, I have like three followers. I don't think any of them are followers of this channel, really. So that would be cool to grow that as well. And it is linked in the description. Hello, Durak. You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire. Menace. Why do you think I'm here, dude? What do you say? Um, where do I sign up? Ha. Huh. Isran's going to like you. He's up the hill in the fort. He'll decide if you're Dawn Guard material. Okay. And on Twitter, I will start posting, like, when I stream and stuff. And that will be where I'll... I mean, I'm obviously still going to use the community tab on YouTube, because that's the easiest way to reach everybody. But I feel like that would just be a cool thing to do. Here to join the Dawn Guard? Good. Isran will decide if you've got what it takes. Go on. He's right inside. Okay. Let's see what Yuzron's got going on. The vigilance and up. Make a save. Finish with each other a long time ago. You know why I'm here. The vigilance are under attack everywhere. The vampires are much more dangerous than we believed. And now you want to come running to safety with the Dawn Guard, is that it? I remember Keeper Carset telling me repeatedly that Fort Dawn Guard is a crumbling ruin, not worth the expense and manpower to repair. And now that you've stirred up the vampires against you, you come begging for my protection. Isran. Karset is dead. The Hall of the Vigilance. Everyone. They're all dead. You were right. We were wrong. Isn't that enough for you? Yes, well. So who are you? Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt you your want. speech. I'm... I heard you're looking for vampire hunters. You heard right. I'm glad word's finally starting to get around. But that means it won't be long before the vampires start to take notice as well. What can I do to help? I need someone out in the field taking the fight to the damn vampires. While we're getting the fort back into shape. Tolan was telling me about some cave the Vigilants were poking around in. Seemed to think it was related to these recent vampire attacks. Tolan, tell him about, what was it? Dim Hollow. Yes, that's it. Dim Hollow Crypt. Brother Adelwald was sure it held some long-lost vampire artifact of some kind. We didn't listen to him any more than we did Isran. He was at the hall when it was attacked. That's good enough for me. Go see what the vampires were looking for in this Dim Hollow Crypt. With any luck, they'll still be there. Here. You should take a crossbow. Good for taking out those fiends before they get close. Feel free to poke around the fort and take what you need. There isn't much yet, but you're welcome to anything you can use. I'll meet you at Dim Hollow. It's the least I can do to avenge my fallen comrades. Tolan, I don't think that's a good idea. You vigilants were never trained I for... know what you think of us. You think we're soft, that we're cowards. You think our deaths proved our weakness? Stendar granted you do not have to face the same test and be found wanting. I'm going to Dim Hollow Crypt. Perhaps I can be of some small assistance to you. You there, boy. Stop skulking in the shadows and step up here. What's your name? I I'm, uh... My name is Agmir, sir. Do I look like a sir to you, boy? I'm not a soldier, and you're not joining the army. Yes, sir. E Isran. Didn't I tell you to step forward? Hm. Farm boy, huh? What's your weapon? My weapon? I mostly just use my pa's axe when wolves are attacking the goats or something. My pa's axe. <laughs> Stand up, preserve us. Don't worry. I think we can make a dawn guard out of you. Here. Take this crossbow. Let's see how you shoot. Alright, well on to Dim Hollow Crypt. 
which is one of the more interesting places in this game. I'm just dropping that because I already have my Orcish crossbow, which is substantially better. I'll equip the Dwarven bolts while we can, just because they do more damage. Okay, so Dim Hollow Crypt, that is out near the Mayorn's Dagon Shrine, correct? Yes, it's even on like the same mountain. So, fast travel out there. I don't know if we'll finish this first horse. Oh, Jesus. Can you chill? Okay, 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 okay. One of them off. Why are you just have your fists? You are mad lad. Why are you attacking my unicorn? Sorry, unicorn. Sorry, donkey, that's your name. Ooh, yeah, more Daedra hearts. Oh, this is a bear out. For a second, I thought it was the other Dramora. I'm like, how did you survive? I just, yeah, he's, okay, he's dead down there. That makes sense. Over here, we have the Ritual Stone, I think. I just spat that out. I have no idea if this is the Ritual Stone, but if it is, I'm going to pretend that I actually did know that. Okay, what is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, shut up. Never should have come. Bounty hunters. Okay, I don't know how that killed the Lord Stone, so I was totally wrong. Where is the Ritual Stone, then? Um, it doesn't really matter that much. I don't know why I instantly just assumed that was this one. I think I was just thinking, like, it's a standing stone, and for some reason I was thinking they were called Ritual Stones for a second. That would be the most sensical excuse for me. What does this do? Those under the sign of the Lord are more resistant to both magicka and physical damage. That sounds great, but... What stone do I have right now? I think it's still my, um... The Warrior Stone, yeah. Which is how I'm gonna leave it for right now, because it's... I mean, my warrior skills are pretty high. Isn't my one-handed at 100 already? Yes. All I'm really upgrading is heavy armor and block at this point. Which is cool. That's another reason I'm doing this Dawn Guard quest, because... I want to excel, or... I, 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 um... What? What am I thinking of? I accelerate. Yeah, I was, I was right. I want to accelerate this Let's Play. And um, finish it, so not like soon soon, but, you know, get it going. This isn't a 100% let's play, I'm just doing what I want to do. And I also would like to do a different let's play on the channel. It would still probably be Skyrim, but it'd be more of like a, a bad guy. Because that's cool, right? You know, edgy, cool. Vigilants never know when to give up. I thought we'd taught them enough of the lesson of their hall. To come in here alone, a fool. Like all the rest of them. He fought well, though. Jedon and Bressoff were no match for him. <laughs> I also felt like doing the Dawn Guard because I'm watching Critical Role still. And I also watched the Amazon Prime series called The Legends of Vox Machina, which was excellent. Totally worth a watch if you haven't watched it before. Um, I, I loved it, if I'm being honest. It's, it's super nerdy and stuff, but... I don't care. That's who I am. But it's about the their like second story arc in Critical Role season one, which has to do with vampires. So I was kind of in a vampire mood. Okay. So that opened the gate over there. Just run down here. Be faster, I believe. And if you couldn't guess, my character is going to side with the Dawn Guard because he is a good boy. Hello? Anybody home? Sorry if you hear any, hear any weird mouth noises. I have a piece of gum in. Kind of unprofessional, but I forgot to take it out before I started the recording. And I'm not going to, you know, take the time to stand up, spit out my gum, and be like, Hey guys, be right back. I have to go spit in my trash can. Oh, sweet. Vampire disease. I wish you could, like, deflect their arrow back at them. That would be... That would make no sense, but it would still be hilarious.
Anybody in here? No? Okay. Just dead bodies? That kind of suits the Skyrim theme. So, vampires fighting Draugr. I guess I'll just attack the Draugr. And now the vampire. Oh yeah, Mistwalkers is going to be way more powerful than a stupid Draugr. How did you not die? What? Also, something that I forgot to do earlier in the episode, so anybody who's still here is probably a devoted member of this channel, so they would be the ones that would need this apology anyways. I'm sorry for not uploading on Saturday, in, or not uploading on Saturday, but instead I uploaded on Sunday. I was in the process of uploading a video on Friday night, but hey, where I live we had quite the snowstorm where we accumulated like two feet of snow in one night and the following day, so my power went out while I was uploading the video, so I just kind of had to push it back. I didn't want to, but it's just what happened. So, sorry about that. It meant we ended up with only one episode of Worm's Tooth this weekend, and it probably messed up the algorithm a little bit for that one, because just Satur Saturday uploads are better than Sunday uploads. So, I was disappointed with that one as well. But the Worm's Tooth series is still doing pretty well. The first video has over a thousand views, which is awesome. Um, the second video is at like two or three hundred, that's pretty good. And honestly, my normal Let's Play videos still average around a hundred views, so... We're doing, we're doing good. I mean, it's a little... You know, YouTube's weird because until you start really, like, paying a ton of attention, you don't realize that even though someone has, like, so many subscribers, they don't get that many views often at all. And it, well, at least for like a gaming channel, some channels, you know, they get more views per video than they have subscribers, but when it comes to Let's Plays and gaming channels, usually you only get like 10%, maybe, of your subscribers watching your videos. Like, the first episode of the Worm's Tooth series, it has over a thousand views, but only less than 200 of those are actually subscribers watching that video. Which is weird, because, I mean, I'm not, like, bitter or anything, it's just, you know, food for thought, you know. What if all 830 people who were subscribed watched all of the videos? But I'm not going to complain too much about it, because I do have a very loyal fan base of people, which is great. There is, you know, a few people that comment on every single video I upload, basically. Which is awesome, because I feel like I'm building a community. And, honestly, I posted something in a community tab, and people started calling me my, like... They would say, my Jarl, and I'm like, hmm, that sounds weird, just, like, hearing that. But I guess that's kind of how I set up my name to be, isn't it? Hello, Master Vampire. It was just weird seeing people say that. Not, like, weird as in I don't appreciate it. It was just weird because I never expected it to get to that point where I had such a nice fan base. Sorry for pausing strangely like that. I, um, have the Monday Night Football on in the background, so I was just peeking over at that. It's currently like 11, 11, 12, 19, 20, 22. I'll never tell you anything, vampire. My oath to Stendar is stronger than any suck. Are you sure that was wise, Loki? Oh, okay. I accidentally got him killed by getting viewed. What's this do? Oh, it shuts that. Okay. So, we just got that scroll. Which was like a firestorm, correct? Now, what if I just... I I How did that feel? Soon your blood will be mine. Low keel? Oh, that's gotta hurt. That should definitely kill a person. I understand they don't really have a way back then to implement that, but if you get shouted down a flight of stairs and your head bashes off a metal wall or a stone wall like that, you are dead. Where's your, um, note? 
He should have a note. Where is your note? Right? Or am I going crazy? Do you have... No? Hmm, it must have just gone flying. Maybe from the firestorm. Although I was not close to him at all. That's disappointing. Let's not fall off the edge there. Okay, it looks like we're going to get to at least a certain part. Which would also be a good place to end off anyways. Hello, people. Oh, I was hoping she would go right over. Skeleton, just some gold on it. Ooh, that looks like it felt wonderful. Gonna make a save. This is so weird running like a two save system right now because my Worm's Tooth Let's Play is with this same exact character. And I think this is how I want to run the channel from now on for the most part. I enjoy doing the Skyrim modded Let's Plays because I've never really done any of the story mods for Skyrim. Or not like modded Let's Plays, but Let's Play of mods, you know what I mean? Because, you know, I've never really done any of them before. So I figure, what better way to do them than getting content for my wonderful viewers? Man, this looks awesome. I always forget which side that- okay, it's this side. Hello, Laura Bailey. Where is... who sent you here? Um, who were you expecting? I was expecting someone... like me, at least. Are you a... Vampire, yes. Why were you locked away like this? That's... complicated. And I'm not totally sure if I can trust you. But if you want to know the whole story... Help me get back to my family's home. Um, where do you need to go? My family used to live on an island to the west of Solitude. I would guess they still do. By the way, my name is Serana. Good to meet you. My name is Roderick. Is that an Elder Scroll? Yes, it is. And it's mine. Chill. Wasn't gonna take it from you. Why do you have an Elder Scroll? It's... complicated. I can't really talk about it. I'm sorry. Okay, and then you talk about why you were locked away? I'd rather not get into that with you. If that's alright. Okay. I'm sorry, it's not that... It's just that I don't know who I can trust yet. Yeah, Let's yeah, to yeah. My home, and I'll have a better sense of where we all stand. How long were you in there? Good question. Hard to say. I... I can't really tell. I feel like it was a long time. Who is Skyrim's High King? Um, Elisif of Solitude will be High Queen. I don't know that name. You say she's Jarl of Solitude? Who supports her? The Empire supports Elisif, but there are many in Skyrim loyal to Ul Ulfric. Ulfric's Empire. dead. What? So, what no. Empire? The Empire from Cyrodiil? Cyrodiil is the seat of an empire? Yeah. I must have been gone longer than I thought. Definitely longer than we planned. Please, let's hurry. I need to get home so I can figure out what's happened. Tell me about this home. It's on an island near Solitude. Hopefully we can find a boat to take us there. It's my family home. Not the most welcoming place, but depending on who's around, I'll be safe there. Why wouldn't you be safe there? Let's just say that my mother and father had a bit of a falling out. Don't worry, I'm not in any danger or anything like that. It'll just be more unpleasant to run into my father. Okay, so one thing I do have to say, I think it is a plot hole by the developers at Bethesda, having her not know that there's, you know, an empire seated in solitude, because I think it ends up, you know, she was 
put down put in here like a I don't know how long ago but I feel like I think there's a video on it somewhere I know that there is and you know she was not buried before the empire was founded all right last but not least any idea how to get out of here your guess is as good as mine this place looks pretty different from when I was locked away Okay, and that is where we're going to wrap up this video. In the next one, we're going to get Serana safely back to her home, apparently. Not that it really makes sense to do that. But, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And yet again, as always, I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.